Hey, I'm Travis. And I'm Adele. And we're with The Noble Marriage. We're here to inspire you to discover true love and intimacy with your spouse. And on this channel, we have transparent, authentic conversations that point your marriage back to Jesus and a life of freedom. We do. And if you want some more resources or a way to contact us for additional support, you can check us out at thenoblemarriage.com. We are so glad that you are here today, and thank you so much for joining our community. Hey, and welcome back to this series that we are on video number eight with Ted Cunningham who is an author, speaker, pastor, comedian, amazing guy. And if you haven't already heard the first seven, you're gonna wanna click the card above to go back and start at video number one because he has some amazing things to say in the first seven videos. So uh, we're in video number eight and he's talking about how to honor your spouse. So let's uh, listen in and see what he has to say. I, uh, there was a point in my life or a long point in our life where I did not honor Adele mm -hmm. and the way that I spoke to her or give her positive affirmations or what mm -hmm. she means to me in our marriage. And I think there may have been something in the background like, well, you know, she should know mm -hmm. I married her and she should know the value and, so it took me a while to figure out how to really honor and, and love you like I meant to do. And I'm curious, like how, how do you and Amy honor each other and how do you prioritize her and, and speak those things over her? Mm. So best tool I ever was given, uh, best skill in our marriage is the honor list. Have you ever done an honor list? Or is that I've heard something of, Gary Smalley did about his wife? Yes, yes we have. That's such a great such a story. Great tool. I, I can share this because we'll just keep it here and on the internet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. that I had an editor a few years ago tell me I needed to stop quoting Gary because it lessened like my credibility. And I was like, and, and you know what it did? It made me want to quote him like five times more. Just because of you know the impact. When somebody has uh, profound influence in your life, which he has, and there's so many things he taught me over the years that became practice in my marriage. And you know, Amy says it all the time, you could have had like a real gung-ho leadership type mentor in your life that was just hard charging for growing the church and building the church up. He, she said, I'm so glad that you had a marriage mentor, that his passion was marriage, because our marriage is through the benefit. But it, yeah, Gary had the honor list, and it was a list he kept of all the reasons why Norma Smalley was highly valuable. And he added to it, it was like four pages when I saw it. And I said, what do you do with this? He said, well, we get into conflict. I come in here and I pick this list up and I remind myself of all of her value. He said, it's not the time to edit. I don't want to edit when <laughs> delete, I delete, delete. And start crossing things out or changing <laughs> things. He said, because these are decisions I'm, I've made. And confirmation bias teaches us we make decisions then we look for the evidence to back them up. Yeah. And... Uh, those are all of the decisions he's made about her value and how God has created her in his image. And and sometimes in conflict, like you're saying, I'm not feeling that yeah. right now. I did the right thing, we did the right thing, we're at a good place, but my body is still reacting to, uh -huh. yeah. And the honor list is a great way to keep track of that because I write it down, I gift it to Amy, but more than that, I like to read it out loud and here's the real power of it. Read it out loud in front of others. Yeah. So what we do at our home at birthdays and anniversaries, we do this for my parents, we do this for our kids. Instead of an 18th birthday card, I'm going to share with you, Corinne, 18 reasons why you're highly valuable. Wow. Uh, and then we do that in front of family and friends. And then, this can get awkward at times, but it's a very cool awkward. Uh, at Corinne's 17th birthday party, we gathered around the table uh, and I'm going to say there's probably 15, 16 people around the table. And after I read the honor list, I, I had everybody go around and everybody speak at least one word of high value over her. And uh, it's that writing it and reminding ourselves is one thing, but to get it, speak it out loud in front of other people. 
Yeah. That's a that's whole good. new way to honor, and your kids are hearing that. That's kids great. are hearing that, uh, and and the respect. I'm going to share this in a session here at Windshape. One of the best ways to teach your children how to honor God, others, and themselves, right, is to watch you two honor each other. Mm -hmm. It's the fastest way. Yeah. There's a lot of things we can try to teach them. But when you're showing it, expressing it, speaking it out loud, it's never forgotten. It's right. Never forgotten. Well, thank you so much no, this for letting fun. us yeah, just sit down and it. talk. And I, I pray a blessing over your ministry. I hope it thank goes you. well. And I look forward to seeing what God does with the two of you. And anything I can do to help, I'm more than happy to. So listening to Ted talk about honoring our spouse, it brings back memories of, of me of like not wanting to honor and not knowing how to honor you yeah, in our relationship. And I was thinking, I was just talking on Instagram how it took me years before I could really realize that honoring someone, like honoring you or honoring my parents um, was a good thing. Like there's so much value in honoring someone else. Yeah. And you would never know had I not, have I not do that. Yeah, I think what uh, Ted was really pointing to is that it raises the value of your spouse or people you love. Mm -hmm. And everyone wants to feel loved. Do you want to feel loved? I, I want to feel loved. Yeah, I was thinking that too, that I feel like everybody, you may or may not say that, but everybody wants to feel loved and everybody wants to feel appreciated and like you're valued, like you're important. Like you matter and I don't know that this is true but it didn't seem like people honor each other uh, anymore and I don't know why that is but it brings so much value to relationships and specifically in our marriage mm hmm if you're not honoring each other I don't know that he loves me and cares about me and honors me. He wouldn't know. And so I think that is the why behind honoring each other and lifting each other up so that you know and you have no doubt in your mind and your heart how I feel about you. Hmm. Which is so valuable. It's probably the most valuable thing we have ever done for our own marriage. And... We're going to read a few of our own uh, lists today um, because I remember a time in our relationship where um, I did not want to tell you too much how much Why I not? loved you. Well, I had this like weird thought that it would puff up your ego or something and make you feel like, like you got it made. So, you know. You don't need me anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's so ridiculous. But it really was. I didn't want to puff you up and give you a big head about who you are. Do you ever <laughs> feel that way? Do you ever feel like you can't share with your spouse how important they are in your life or how much they bring you joy or maybe the things they do to keep the house up or the yard up or, hey, I really appreciate you doing this or the way that you parent our child those types of ways of honoring and valuing somebody is like wow man that's that's important to me and that fills me up and i really appreciate you saying that and i don't know why i did not do that with you yeah i did not know why i never gave you gratitude or appreciation of the things you did around the house there would be things that would come to my mind that i would be like i should share that and then me too. i'd be like no but I have no idea why. It, it's uh, hard for me to get in touch with how I, I felt back then. But there was a definite, like, I'm going to, like, you're going to think you're too good or something like that. I think another thing that just popped up for me is I was so focused on all the things you weren't doing right. Mm, that's a good one. That if I start sharing the things you're doing well and the things I really like about you and love about you and honoring you, then it's almost like those things don't matter and they were a big deal to me. 
Yeah. And so it was almost like if I'm pouring into you is diminishing the like the issues in our relationship or something. But it's actually the exact opposite. When you pour into your spouse and honor them, they naturally want to honor back. Yeah. And it fulfills us in a way in our marriage that's so connecting and intimate. And it just, it opens my heart and makes me feel so loved when you do it. Mm. Generosity begets generosity. Mm -hmm. And what's really cool is you may be sitting back going, I'll, I'll reciprocate when I get received, when I receive, I'll, I'll tell them the value when I hear the value that I have, you know, I'm unappreciated in this house and no one cares about me. And I'll share with them how much I value them once they appreciate who I am. And that could be mm -hmm. um, like I have resentment in our home like that to where I didn't want to share uh, necessarily with you because you didn't see the great value that I had done. And I wanted to hold that back. Mm -hmm. So you could be sitting at home or sitting there listening to this going, yeah, I'll just wait until they share. Um, mm -hmm. But the, the value is in the sharing because generosity begets generosity. And when I choose to step out and share, the other person lets their walls down. And they're like, oh, wow, that's, I appreciate that. Who doesn't want to be appreciated? Who doesn't want to be loved? Uh, I want to share. Go ahead. I began my list in the hardest part of my life. Um, it was right after I had found out that you had been unfaithful. And I could not get in touch with the love that was there. And my counselor recommended that I start a list of all the reasons why I love you. And I didn't know at the time it's an honor list, but that's when I began it. And I would just write down, sometimes I could come up with one thing and sometimes I could come up with 10 things because I was in such a tough place place in my life at the time but as I began to you know have healing in my heart and um, the love was coming back and really a new love was beginning um, mm -hmm. I continued that list and so I would write a few down when they would come to my mind and then close it and then so I just kept adding to it for several weeks and I ended up with a list of 105 reasons why I love and honor him and I remember when I gave it to you, I think it was the first time that you even had a clue what I yeah. feel about you mm. and how impactful that is in a marriage. Because if he doesn't know how much he is loved and cared, like that's just so sad. And, and I think it, you take different actions in life when you feel loved where you are, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I just have to wonder if we would have started honoring each other from day one, like what would our relationship have looked mm. like? But we didn't start doing that until around like 13 years of marriage. And so that's my challenge to you. First of all, if you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button so that we know and drop us a comment and let us know the value that you're getting. Um, but my challenge to you is start an honor list for your spouse. Get five reasons why you love them. That's it. Just, Just five. five. That's so simple. And share them with your spouse. And just see what kind of a reaction do you get when you honor yourself. Let me say this. It might be one of those relationships. Lean in here for a second. It might be one of those relationships where that honor is something like, I really appreciate that you brush your teeth. Or I really appreciate you take a shower. Just like finding It might something. be something simple. And starting with that, because it will develop. Mm -hmm. It absolutely will develop. The more I wrote my list, the more things came to my mind. I was shocked when I had 105 reasons, especially at that point in my mm -hmm. life. I actually need to go back and add more to it. I've written two of them and two of them to you. Mm -hmm. One of them I wrote on paper and one of them I've written in my notes here. And here's the great thing about it is uh, you heard uh, Ted Cunningham talking about um, 
Gary Smalley, the late Gary Smalley, and his relationship with his wife Norma. And he's referencing a story that Greg, uh, Dr. Greg Smalley talks about his son. They're having, I think it was a, I don't want to batch the story. It was like story, a Thanksgiving dinner But it was like a Thanksgiving dinner. And the, the Norma and, and Gary got into a argument. They were and not having a good they day. They were not having a good day at all. The marriage experts. But what's really cool is he stormed off to his office and gets on his computer. And then uh, Dr. Greg Smalley says that he walks into the office eventually. To try to see if he could Yeah, help to try them. to help out. And <laughs> um, his father is on the computer and he's looking at this list. Of things and he says he looks over to see what's on the list and they're they're all the ways that he the reasons. the reasons he loves and appreciates his wife and he's looking through those and what's really cool about those is he's not looking through those to delete them alter them that is edit not them. the time to delete <laughs> he's looking through those to remind himself of the value that she has in his life because what happens is we get triggered in our life. Like we go through this vicious vortex of fear and we get triggered and it looks like they're on the opposite team, but in yeah. reality, they're not. And by being connected into these messages, like, man, I really love you because you did this and you did that. And, and this is the value that you have on my life. It reminds me in those times where my amygdala gets hijacked or my prefrontal cortex is not operating anymore. That, fight or uh, flight. Yeah, I mean, that fight or flight, you know, that, that it reminds me of what's true and it recenters me back into we are on the same team. Yeah. So let's read some of these. Okay, can I go first? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I love how you always challenge me to be a better person. Hmm. Um, I love sharing our morning coffee together and our walks and having good conversation yeah. together. I love how giving you are. You're one of the most generous people I know. Hmm. I love that you're not ashamed to seek help when you need it. And you go to, you know, mentors and advisors in your life. That's, I love that. And I love that you own when you're wrong. <laughs> um, because a lot of our marriage neither one of us did that yeah. and it just I really appreciate that about you oh. and I love how you just know the, the perfect way to comfort me when I really need it so wow thank you you're welcome mm. I'll read more of these so, to you later <laughs> th yeah I want to hear it this is something we I had to get used to is hearing these words of value and appreciating these words of value because a lot of times I would have the issue of hearing those things and thinking in my mind, that's not true, that's not true. And then I want to combat that because mm -hmm. you just don't know what I feel about myself. But just being able to soak that in and ex mm -hmm. receive that honor, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll read you a few of these. I think I have 110 in this one. I love going to bed with you at the same time every night. That's awesome. Yeah, Instead of at too. different times. I love when you tell me what I mean to you. Words of affirmation are very important to me and it's my love language. So her speaking things into me like what I mean to her or uh, that she appreciates when I do something, which is the next one. I love it when you tell me uh, that you appreciate the things I do around the house. I love the example you set for others in the way that you're being. Thank you. I love our deep discussions we have about God life and family me too <laughs> i love that you helped me with my clothes mm. <laughs> you're welcome babe <laughs> yeah so these are great ways our challenge is to really step out and get a few uh sentences of words of high value for your spouse it's going to yeah. make a difference and we would love to hear what that difference made give us a comment and uh, let us know what you said to them and how the response was. Yeah. And don't forget, your kids are watching the kind of marriage that you have. Right. And 
they're watching how you interact with one another. And when you honor your spouse, you're directly teaching your children how to honor you and how to honor their future spouse as well. So just keep that in mind. It is directly affecting your children. See you next time. Bye. Hey, you're not finished yet. We're here to make a difference and inspire your marriage and other marriages as well. And if you found value in these videos, leave us a comment and let us know what that was so we can make other videos similar to that. We would love for you to join our community of awesome like-minded people. They are awesome. Go ahead and hit subscribe and you'll get daily motivational videos that impact your life and inspire you to be your best self. This also helps us get our message out to marriages all over the world. So thank you so much for subscribing and joining our community.